In a moment, I'm gonna put my hand on your head and you are gonna be healed. You are gonna be healed, three, two, one. You are healed and you will fall on the floor and you will love, love, love cats. I went to school for this. Welcome to Let's Talk About That, the show about the show. I'm Stevie and sad cowboy emoji. This week's guests are super particular about the order in which their names are said. Please welcome Link and Rhett. down Sweet. and we're down hey that's what how it's link? gonna be like when the robots take yeah, over you look so they're gonna cool get today. in tight spaces and they're not gonna know exactly what to do look how cool link looks today yeah i wasn't gonna say anything <laughs> <laughs> you look so hip i like your hat the most thanks out of I, all the things I love that you're this wearing. hat it's the material that i love i what also make money it? off the sale also of it, the but. graphic <laughs> also the whole thing is what you what you're saying Total package, also my huh? hat is also a mythical hat and not that hat it's another mythical black hat what? That looks let me see cool. What, let me see what the front looks like. Bam. But it's the back for you. And ma'am, and no one told me how cool I was looking today, but boy am I. Um, people have been waiting for, for days to know if the hypnosis worked on Rhett to finally rid him of his hatred of cats. And I have that footage to show you. I also have a while the cameras were rolling clip from when Tana Thomas Lennon, Tennis Lennon was on the show. Um, but first, it is time for another iteration of a GMM rejected snack. Oh, gotta do that. It's, uh, it's themed for the week and it is beautiful, I will say. Josh did an amazing job with this. Uh, You're storing it where your feet are. Yeah. <laughs> right next to my feet. It is this is it a, beautiful. A tart? It is tart like, which was my nickname in high school. <laughs> um, it's a tomato <laughs> cheesecake. Ooh. Look at how beautiful. Tomato cheesecake. Okay. That's real nice. I get it. Ah. Nice. Okay. And we have Cut to. Cut the overhead cam. Yeah. We have to cut it because it looks so beautiful. Um, they didn't want to cut it before. Josh, what can you tell us about this cheesecake? Well, it's a simple graham cracker crust and there's a, a sweetened tomato gelée on top, just a little bit of buttercream and then a fresh cherry tomato that I grew and picked myself. Where'd you grow really? it? Really? No, that last one was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, sh we should all take a bite of this one, yeah? Sure. That'll be better. Mm. Mm. You want I'll, I'll give you all, all three, three forks, forks. <laughs> just so I can take one back. Keep one of the forks for yourself. And I am going to go for the first bite. <laughs> okay, and now there's no actual real tomato. Well, I mean the, the what did you call the the tomato jam? Oh, the top? sweetened tomato gelée? Mm-hmm. Talking about the sweetened tomato gelée? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that. The gelée. That is really good. I like that, it. That is good. Well, oh, it is, huh? So Link, yeah. But here, here's, I, I never said that I didn't like ketchup yeah. or tomato flavored things, like a raw tomato. Well, why don't you, why don't you like get it, one of the raw tomatoes? Because yeah, I just, I, I think wanna... people are curious, like, what your current temperament is. I love tomatoes. I, I want to unpack a little bit, I guess, of my, yeah, my experience. Yeah, because we said we were gonna hold it for, for right now. Did we do it? Well, it was weird because I had this experience and then I, I, I was hypnotized and then I didn't remember it. I don't remember. And then we watched it and then it was like, even then I wasn't able to fully process. What's wrong young? with you? I think I'm able to fully process, more fully process what happened, having okay. watched it back. But I mean, just well, to- To set the table though, you were not like, like after we did that, that shoot, I thought for sure that you were aware of what was happening and that you were trying to like be a good sport. Like I thought you were like trying to play along. So like while I was sitting there with you, I was like, this is cute and fun, but like Link 
obviously knows what's happening right now, and he's just trying to You're be saying nice I'm a to the guy. No, I'm saying that you were hey, trying you can, to like. You can say it. In my mind, I was just like, oh, Link's trying because I think a lot of people watching might have thought that too. But then after we shot it, you literally didn't remember what happened. Having yeah, having not remembered it, watching it back, one of the I, I noticed a lot of things. One of the things I noticed was like this the the discomfort that you had at the beginning, but then like the it kept cutting to you and like this skeptical Stevie. That's the thing. Like I was trying right. I was trying to emote shock and surprise and like, oh, and okay. but inside and was like, inside yeah, I was right. thinking like yeah, inside I was like, is this this isn't really happening. Well, right you were now. also you were playing a little you can't help but play producer. Yeah, you're, exactly. You're, you're yeah. there on camera, but you're also thinking like, how's this gonna cut together? <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. If, he, if he's faking, how's this gonna cut together? How we, where is this gonna go? Yeah. I was not faking, and the, the weird the weird takeaway for me is not that hypnosis works, because we have a friend who, who is starting to get in hypnosis, like he tried to hypnotize us at my house one night. He goes to the park and hypnotizes strangers in order to practice. Yeah. This is um, sounding not great. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they, they like no, willing no. participants. I don't think they call that hyp he, he asks hypnotizing them. people. Yeah, and it's like and he it's, asks them, and it they they leave feeling rejuvenated. But the fact, so none of that was a surprise to me. But the fact that he said don't remember and then I didn't is the thing that that's the discombobulating experience of the whole thing. Is when it's all said and done, it's like that you don't actually remember. Yeah, so when you were watching it back, that was did weird. You, okay, yeah. That's what was so weird about it. Cuz um, you were like watching yourself do something that you don't even remember you yeah. ever did. Yeah. Genuinely. But, but he told you not to remember it. So he could come back and say, "I want you to remember it." And would you know. suddenly remember it? I don't know. It, so so to me that's the big thing. But then the thing about the loving tomatoes, which over the course of the day when people were saying what red, was, red, red tomatoes, tomatoes. Yeah. for the for the hour after you came out of that everyone who knew that that was your trigger word they would come in and they would just work red tomato and then you'd be in the middle of something and you would be like i love red I, I love tomatoes and then you change it to i don't love tomatoes but you had to say <laughs> the words i love tomatoes in some form in order to like scratch an itch that was <laughs> that people would that would be instigated when they said red tomatoes it was crazy and i was and like, then i caught so on but, but then i like because alex was asking me like you don't remember stuff and he's like well i'm not going to tell you and like different people we both thought and then i was fake. We i both was telling like... teresa about it and i was like have you ever been hypnotized and i was talking to her for a little bit and then she was like i was there because she realized i didn't know that she was there i didn't i didn't even remember that she was up in the loft well and then you had you had a meeting with someone that didn't know that we did the pre-tape at all. This is, that part is really weird to me. That's what's weird. Like later in the afternoon, I met up with you and Rhett also wasn't in the room, so he doesn't know what happened. Yeah. And yeah. So, so the story, so the trigger word he gave me, which I finally caught on that, that people around the office started saying red tomato and they'd have this look on their face like, <laughs> and I, so I, and between that and the conversations I was having with everybody who was involved, I, I pieced that much together. See, and I then, didn't, I thought it was so fake. I didn't even want to say that to you because I was like, that is stupid. Like people were like, have you said it yet? And I'm like, no, I haven't said it. Like that's I, ridiculous. Yeah. So before I caught on to the trigger word, we we had an interview. We had a woman come in who was like getting us to sign up for some corporate credit cards. Okay, so somebody that has nothing to do with anything here at the office, and. We, we did all the paperwork and then bef there was this weird moment where there was, we were waiting on some paperwork to come in. So it was me, her, and Rhett sitting in her office. That was it, right? Yeah. And so, you know, it, it was awkward silence. So I thought I'd make, this was a few hours after being hypnotized. So I thought I'd make a uh, conversation. And I was like, have you ever been hypnotized? And of course that was kind of a strange question. I knew it was to ask her, but I don't care. And she's just like, no. Shocking. Why? And I'm like, well, I was this morning. I was, I was trained. Uh, I was hypnotized to like tomatoes. And she said, "This was crazy." She said, "What? You didn't like red tomatoes?" And I was like, "Why would she say red tomatoes? Yeah. Did, did somebody tell her to say that?" And then you told me that? that I said. And then you said, "I don't love." To that was when you were. That was when you were had changed it a little bit, but you still had to say love tomatoes. You're like. I wouldn't say, oh, you were like, I wouldn't say I love tomatoes, but you did say <laughs> I love tomatoes. You did say it. 
And then I was like, I was kind of half listening to the and conversation. Then she, and then, then she leaves. Then they get the paperwork and, and like, she leaves. Who, and it's me and Rhett. No and one Rhett says to, red tomatoes. No that one. Is the weird. first you leaned over to me at that point once you left, and this is when it clicked that that was my the trigger word was after she left. It was just me and you, and you were like, "Do you know you said that you love tomatoes?" I don't remember what I said in response to you, actually. Well, the reason you figured out it was a trigger word is because I basically you said- You told you. You I, told me. I, I, you told I, I you. I told me first. <laughs> I can't even and talk I, about it. And once I was comfortable with my, with myself knowing, <laughs> I told you. Yeah, I said- You told me. You've been point. saying I love tomatoes but the thing anytime that was somebody freaky says red tomatoes. is that she said, why would she say red tomatoes? I don't know, that is, that's weird. Did anyone here somebody tell her? her? Yeah. I was in the room. Nobody you were in the room. Nobody told me. So strange. It's so weird. And also, you Why said. Why did anybody say red tomatoes? Because I think he was trying to make that. the trigger word raw tomatoes. Because I said, I don't like raw tomatoes. Yeah. But yeah, then I think, I think he up. messed up yeah. and said red tomatoes, which became the word, my, my trigger word. Yeah. But then the, this insurance lady said it. Yeah, this credit then, card lady said and it. And Rhett said the way that you said it. It didn't progress the conversation at all. Like no, you, you it, said it. it and was, you would like work it in in a way that was weird. <laughs> but I think it's okay. So I, I think we let's. I know you're about to transition because I think once you see what I went through, we can kind of compare notes a little bit okay. because it yeah. to me it gives even <laughs> yeah. more insight into how weird it is what happened to you is. But let so it, should I just go ahead and say my yes, relationship yeah, with yeah. tomatoes yeah, just yeah. to get, just to get it out there. Um, I haven't eaten a raw tomato since that day. I do not like what's happening in my mouth. I don't like it. Yeah. I think ultimately, I, in my heart of hearts, I didn't want to like raw tomatoes or red tomatoes, whatever you want to call them. But you so love it didn't, tomatoes. It didn't stick. <laughs> but I wouldn't say I love tomatoes. Um, <laughs> I mean, so, I wouldn't say I love tomatoes. I know we're not talking about that, but you just said red tomato, so I gotta say that. No, well, I, it, think, th I don't respond to the trigger word anymore, yeah. and I don't like raw or red tomatoes. But you ultimately. just ate it without pro a problem. I don't know, maybe it helped a little bit. I don't know, but- uh, It's freaky! But I do know what happened uh, to Rhett, and uh, you're about to know too. So, I understand there's some changes you wanna possibly make in your life, yeah. right? Tell him. Uh, well, traditionally, I have hated cats. I have. Uh, seen them as selfish and potentially put here by the devil himself. It's just a general distaste for them. Do you wanna like cats possibly? I think I do because I see them places, you know, in back alleys. <laughs> and I think if I like their presence then I wouldn't mind, okay. you know, seeing them. It's good for the internet too. And I also think that people are tired of me hating cats and so I'm tired of me hating cats okay. too. Why hate anything? I really? have a list of things I'm tired of, but that's on it. You don't have to believe in it. You don't have to not believe in it. All you have to do is be open to the possibility. So breathe in deep. On the exhale, just let your eyelids close because they want to anyhow. And you can just let them close down just like that, beautifully. And you're entering a space where anything is possible and everything's possible. Deep sleep and you relax, you let go even more. And I let this arm go, you drop 10 times deeper. When I let this arm go, you go 10 times deeper than before, wonderful. Here's the deal, Rhett. In a moment, I'm gonna have you open your eyes. You're gonna realize that your eyes can no longer see your beard. Your beard is gone, it's missing from your face. You open your eyes and look at yourself. Your beard is, you don't see your beard anymore. What happened to your face? See a bird. You see a bird? Oh yeah, you see a bird. Look at, there, you can hold the mirror. You can hold it, look at yourself. You don't even see your beard. Your beard is gone. What is that like looking at yourself? I still see it. Close your eyes and sleep down even more, even deeper now. We are gonna use your conscious and your subconscious mind to make a major change in your life right now. And it's not because I say so. You've already said you've wanted to make this change. I'm gonna count down from five to one, and with each number, you're gonna feel an attraction building up in you, where you start to love cats, where all you do is think about cats, you love cats, you never realized why you didn't like them in the past. In a moment, you're gonna open your eyes, and you're gonna see a cat on the floor. You are gonna hug the cat, you are gonna love the cat, you are gonna feel so fulfilled inside, unlike never before. Open your eyes and look down at the floor. Is that? It's, a, it's a stuffed animal. And the more you hold it, do you feel how much more love 
your feeling towards cats right now? But I don't think I ever hated stuffed ones. Now close your eyes and sleep. Now, there's nothing you want more than to hold a real cat. Now open your eyes and look how cute this cat is. I don't like the way you can see its butthole. All tension's leaving your body. I'm, I'm trying. Touching the cat, slower. Look at that, it's got claws. It's claws that feel great, you feel no pain. Ah! Ah! Oh. Ah! He's still, he's got some anger he's gotta let go of, so we're he's gonna a, let he's him. He's a cat. Are you evil too? It's a mutual process of healing because the feline species knew how you felt about them until today. And if he wants to go, he can go. Just let them, let them be, let them do what they're gonna do. And it's good. That's what I don't like. And see, you can see the butthole again. Even that hair, look at that hair, it's beautiful. It's like your beard. No. Now, close your eyes and sleep. You're not gonna fall. Each time we open your eyes, you're letting go even more. See how different it feels? It's got love in its eyes for you. It looks like a demon. It used to look like a demon. Uh, it's acting like a demon. Just nudge it with your face and notice when you do that, it changes. It feels good. I wish it was a dog. In a moment, I'm gonna put my hand on your head and you are gonna be healed. You are gonna be healed, three, two, one. You are healed and you will fall on the floor and you will love, love, love cats. I went to school for this. You've done so much work today. You've done such a good job that you're, you want a snack, you want a treat. And right now, what you really want is some vanilla ice cream. Hold out your hands, and you are gonna, this is the best vanilla ice cream you've ever had. Go ahead and take a taste of it. See how sweet it is, and how delicious it is. Is that amazing? How good does that taste? You taste the vanilla, it's cool, it's refreshing. It's mayonnaise. Close your eyes and sleep down. You've done such a good job today. You've had so much fun. Zero, closing the door to the subconscious mind. One, coming back up out of the state of hypnosis, back into the room. Two, feeling more awake and alert. Three, eyes one in the open. Four, five, wide awake. One, two, three, four, five, eyes open, wide awake, feeling amazing. How does it feel when you look at that cat right now? Does it feel any different? Uh, then, then what? Then go ahead and pet it. What does it feel like when you pet the cat? How does it feel? It's soft. It's soft. That's a positive step. Can you make a cat like a tomato? I've never tried. Well, <laughs> what happened? Yeah, that, was, that didn't go the same way that it went for Link. Let's just say a couple of things. I remember it all. <laughs> <laughs> he did tell you not to remember it, but. Um, okay, so having talked to our friend a little bit about this and then also, um, what was his name, his name again? Mm. Glenn. Mm -hmm. Having talked to Glenn, I knew that it's, it isn't magic. Just like you said, it's not magic. So I knew that there, you had to have a willingness. So Volish, it's I, volitional. So and I know that I'm a skeptic and I'm, I'm willful. And so I knew going in, I was like, I can't go in thinking like, you can't hypnotize me. So I was like very much trying the whole time to like completely give myself over to it. Mm -hmm. I was, and then once I got to the place where I started petting the cats, I was still in a place where I was like, I'm really, again, I don't want to hate cats. I want to like cats. Why hate cats? They're, they're so, they're, they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. If you like them, then your life's a little bit better. So I'm, I was trying and trying and trying, but then honestly, once the real cats showed up, I was just reminded how much I viscerally hate them. <laughs> and See, I just could not get over it. I tried, man. I tried. Because at the beginning, I was like, I was trying to be a supportive presence. And then I was trying to figure out if you were ever out. I, it's because hard to you explain. Because you had just been through it and it actually worked right. for you. So you thought you were watching at first that might I thought it might be, be working. Yeah. And I thought it might be working. That's the thing is I didn't want, like the whole time I was trying to like lull myself into this suggestible state where I was like, that's why I was kind of talking like this. <laughs> and I was kind of being quiet. You were also being like very quiet and subdued. Mm -hmm. uh, even when he was like telling you to scream, you were still going like, I, I love tomatoes. You, yeah. weren't, you weren't screaming it even yeah. though he asked you to. Yeah. So we were in a similar mind state and, I, and having not seen you, I was like, oh, we're kind of in the same place. Mm -hmm. But I remember it all. At no point did I feel like I was actually being, like anything was changing about 
the way I think about cats. Yeah, that was that was clear. I mean, when but I you tried, when I saw, you I tried. mean, again, I thought there was a little something up when he told me to look at my face in the mirror and I saw a bird. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the mirror was at the wrong. Yeah, angle. yeah, it was just angled up. But then when I saw my face, clearly, big old beard. And I also don't think I can accept myself with, accept myself without a beard. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. He yeah, really he, didn't know what he, was he went for the there. he went yeah. for the gusto right at the beginning. You don't understand what I look like without a beard. Yeah. I've, I I I try to it, forget that on a daily yeah. basis. That thought goes real deep. Okay, so we also had an additional guest this week, Mr. Thomas Lennon. He insists that I put the Mister uh, in front of his whole name, of so course. that's what I'm doing. But it wasn't the first time that we hung out with Tom because he was on the Mythical Show way back when, mm -hmm. and uh, in the episode you reference it for a moment. But I thought I don't think a lot of people have seen that clip, True so that. we should uh, make it easy for them. And I'm going to toss to it right now. Can I ask a super a super weird question? Are you guys both wearing wigs or just one of you? Guess who? It's the weave. It's extensions. It's not a full extensions. Wig. Like you can feel where they meet your hair. Yeah. How many hours does it take to do? It takes a full weekend. You don't do it in one sitting, though. You do it gradually. Well, I get my children to do it. You from the south? No. Do you think we sound like rednecks? Yes. Yeah. And it's not that you don't sound intelligent, and educated, it's but okay. you do sound like dudes who would make tourists into jerky in some insane Mississippi shack, mountain shack. Now, usually when you begin sweating like I am, which is pretty profusely, it, your body is telling you that. You're giving yourself a fever. Right, yeah, yeah. right. So at yeah. what point do I begin actually cooking? Pretty soon, pretty soon. It'll be too late by the time you really notice it. It'll probably be too late. I'm gonna go under if you guys want. All right. Mundane moments is what we called that. Mundane, 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 mundane moments. Mundane yeah, that's moments. when you when you when you don't have an angle. No. And you just go in and have a conversation <laughs> with somebody. <laughs> um, I feel no, like our, did... se our our second session with T L was was uh, more fun. You know, it was drier. Oh, oh, I didn't uh, know what you meant by that because we did we did those like we had a Tony Hale one and a Tim and Eric and a Paul Shear. We had some. Those were good. Good little mundane moments. Uh -huh. um, but Tom said right before he came in to shoot the show the other day that he rewatched that piece. And now that we've rewatched it, I don't really know what that did for him. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, he came in just like, okay, yeah. what am I? Like, I yeah. I'm going to have to really carry this. How thing. are these guys still doing stuff? <laughs> But um, he was awesome, and uh, while the cameras were rolling, we caught uh, a little moment that you guys had. It wasn't oh. it wasn't as mundane. Do people mm -hmm. when they come to your house for an event? Mm -hmm. Do so is that the they, famous Rhett they, and Link? <laughs> yeah, you should get a plaque with like you guys there or something. Well, that's not where I was going. Mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah, we, 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 got, we already do, have it made. Do they ask about it us? Mm -hmm. They do. Frequently. <laughs> can I still, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, is there still a sort of a Rhett and Link feel to the water? Uh, I had, like, the second you guys left, I had it. Obviously, I had it drained. <laughs> <laughs> drained, sprayed, sprayed, drained. Okay, do people bring okay. bathing suits to your house, like thinking that, oh, I'm definitely going to get in? Because that's oh, happened absolutely. a few times. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because people send their kids by with the suit. Is yeah. it not like a normal hot tub? Is it like a better than normal? Hot tub? It, I Mine? think it's better. His, his backyard is looks like you're on. You're you're like on the inside of the outside of yeah. a rainforest cafe. I got a ton of, I got, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got tons and tons of money, it's crazy. <laughs> a great guy that, Mr. Mr. Thomas Lennon. Yes he is. Um, and before we, we say our goodbyes to the Mythical Beast, I do want to remind you that today is the last day you can donate to the hashtag no stash hungry uh, campaign, I'm calling it a campaign. Yeah. And, uh, and next week you get to see some, some, some shaven. Yeah, I'm bringing my sharpest razor. Get ready, mythical chef Josh. Link's bringing his dullest razor. Oh, hey. man. Okay, until next LTAT. Whoa, hey, come on, off. Stevie, give us a warning. Sorry. <laughs> One, two, three. And until how, how next LTAT. How, how, you were just going to count on, to three? I, I, I wasn't in on it.